a gearbox from a Meccano Sports Motor Car model uh, 10.2. Um, I've been asked about this gearbox and how to construct it. So, so here we go, and also how it how it works. Um, first of all, we have reverse gear, like so. That's the output shaft. This is the input shaft here. Uh, 25 tooth gear going to a 19 idler to a 25 tooth then over to this 19 tooth to this 25 tooth um, this might look like, look like one shaft in the middle but the shaft on the input actually ends halfway through this gear here so that and, and that's the output that's why it can work independently so that's um, effectively uh, 25 to 1 ratio uh, we then go into first gear, like so, we have 19 tooth to 25 tooth and then 19 tooth to 25 tooth for um, 625 to 381. So that's actually a lower gear than the reverse gear, which is uh, slightly odd. Move that into neutral and uh, now we move that over. Now this is one to one, so that 19 tooth gear goes to that 25 tooth gear that then goes straight out to that 19 tooth gear again so that's one to one and finally top gear uh, what we have here is a 19 tooth gear there going to a, sorry a 25 tooth gear there going to a 19 tooth gear and then that goes out to this 25 tooth gear to this 19 tooth gear so that one's actually a step up ratio and that's 381 to 600 and 25 and just beware you need a lot of short grub screws in this model or else the uh, gears jam against each other. Uh, another thing is how to keep this uh, lay shaft stationary when it's not being driven by the uh, gear stick. Um, now the manual says, and I'll turn it around for this, uh, put a 3 8 inch bolt in in that hole there and that will go against that rod gently, the shank of the bolt will go against that rod gently and you're meant to use uh, lock nutting to adjust that and I think that's quite ridiculous so what I've done is um, you have this fish plate here going to a threaded pin there's a compression spring on it and there's also two washers to uh, uh, increase the uh, pressure and that compression spring goes against the shaft and stops it from uh, moving of its own free will. And I think that's a much better way to do it. And the, the manual is very poor in that area. You know, for this bolt, it doesn't say what hole to put it in. It just says it's in the top of the gearbox somewhere along here. This is effectively the top. The, the, like that, the whole thing's upside down. But anyway, that's how it works.